Minglava. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> this is going to be my first ever video on YouTube and I'm very nervous and excited about it. Since I'm new on YouTube and for those who don't know me, let me introduce myself. My name is Mei Do Kai and I'm from Burma. I am an actress. I work in front of the camera. I act in front of the camera. But this YouTube thing is definitely out of my comfort zone. Talking in front of the camera is a different thing for me. I'm personally not a good talker. Like words just don't come out of me. So it's so hard for me to do this. But I really want to do something that's out of my comfort zone and make myself proud. <laughs> so here I am with my YouTube channel. With this channel, I am going to show you guys more sides of me and my passion for fashion and to get closer to all of you. Okay, this video is going to be about the essential items you need in your closet, aka my most worn items ever. If I were to take five to eight items from my wardrobe, it would definitely be from these. They are all very basic and that is why I love them and need them. With basics, there are so many things you can do. You can add more, you can layer, you can create different styles and outfits from it. So I think you need a good basic item in your clo closet. <laughs> okay, so let's get straight into it. This one is from Zara. I got this eight months ago, I guess, while I was in Seoul in Bangkok. This is the one that I always, always wear. It's just my go-to. I can do so many things with it, and I've worn it so many countless times. Even after eight months, after so many washes, like I know the color is starting to wear off, and the bottom area is a bit slouchy now. But then, when I wear T-shirts, I tuck in most of the time, so it doesn't really matter. If you have one good quality T-shirt, you're good to go for like a year or so, I would say. This one is a black cropped t-shirt. So it's an L size, like it's, it's okay on me. It fits well on me. Like even after a year, it's still in a perfect shape. I think it's because it's black. So it doesn't really show when it's getting old, like white does. But with black, it's so versatile. You can do so many things with it. And black is always in style. So I really recommend you to have a black t-shirt in your wardrobe too. And last but not least, is a button down t-shirt with a collar. I love a good t-shirt with a collar. I love this white t-shirt because like this is the white, like the definition of white. It's it's so clean and the length is not cropped either, but it's just right at the waistline. So I pair this with my skinny jeans and sometimes I would add a little scarf, adding a little more style. Also, you can like put a sweater on top and then leave the collars out to get this like a schoolgirl vibe. This may just be a simple white shirt, but this is the most essential item you need in your wardrobe. Whether you are light skin, dark skin, whether you're tall or short, whatever your body size is, white shirt looks good on any woman, period. This is a piece that works any way and you can get as much style out of it as possible. This one, I got it from online. I would say it's a lucky find. I always like to wear a size bigger because I normally wear them on top of my other pieces. Also, I like to wear mine half tucked in, tucked in the front, leaving the back part untucked. This is my go-to style every time. You can also call this my vacation style. I always seem to bring these two along with me on every vacation, a white blouse and a white tank top. I don't know why, I just love wearing this style. It's like my style and I'm so comfortable with this style. And another style I like to wear it with a sweater on top. I used to get really annoyed when the sleeves rolled up underneath the sweater. I mean, I still get annoyed. So what I do is I grab both of the sleeves with my hands and wear the sweater so that it won't get rolled up underneath. I'm leaving the bottom part untucked because I think it gives a little like messy but also a cool vibe. You can style them with skinny jeans and long boots. Tank tops are perfect to wear all year round. They work so well by itself. 
or even when layering. When I buy tank tops, I like to buy really fitted ones because I use it mostly for layering and since it's going to be the innermost layer of your clothing, it needs to stick to your body. These ones, I actually bought these online and to my surprise, they're so good. The quality and the price I paid is so worth it and the stitching is very, very neat too. This one, I got it from Zara. It's a fitted spaghetti strap stretch top. By fit, it means really, really, really fitted, that it's almost like a bodysuit. Except that it's not a bodysuit. That's what I like about it. I only saw this in black. I wish they came in some other different colors, but then black, it goes with anything, so I'm not mad. Here comes the jean jacket. I think you just need a jean jacket in your life. I'm going to show you guys my most worn jackets. I am normally into oversized jackets. It's really your choice when it comes to them, but whether it's oversized or fitted ones, you need to have a good jean jacket in your closet. This is the one I bought from Bangkok Platinum Mall. I love the ripped parts on it and also because I don't really have a jacket in this length. It's very oversized so it gives you this very secure feeling. And I mostly wear it when I'm going for like grungy street style look, you know. This one I ordered online because it was too cute. I don't order jean jackets from online because I'm scared of getting them in bad quality and I think it's always good to try on before buying them. And I actually bought this because of the cute details. And I'm not mad, it's really nice. It's like a cropped jean jacket. I actually usually pair this with my summer dresses when I want to look cute. And the last one is from Zara. It actually came with a little short. And this one is like an oversized jacket too. This is always my go-to. The stitches on it gives it a very cool contrast to the whole thing. Also, another reason I love oversized denim is because they give you plenty of space for you to move around. If you're going for a night out or just want to look strong and badass, these are your best friends. Just by wearing it, you automatically look chic and polished. On lazy days where you don't want to dress up, just grab a t-shirt, a leather jacket, and that is effortless fashion. When I was studying in Manchester, the wind was crazy. While other sweaters and coats didn't help, leather jacket kept me warm. Especially ones with diagonal zippers like this, it kept the wind away. My parents bought this jacket from China a long time ago. I love the small details, especially the convenient pockets and the panels at the back. If you're wearing just for style, I personally like to wear it unzipped. I know leather jackets can be very pricey, so just keep one in your wardrobe and it will last you so long and come in handy. Sweaters. What do you think when you think of sweaters? For me, I think of this heavy piece of knitted clothing. I'm mostly allergic to knitwears. I get rashes from them. I always have to layer something underneath. Also, it's so hot here. So these thinner types of sweaters give me more of a breathing spot. This one is from H&M. I stole this from my mom too. This is in L size. But then I love how it looks on me. It looks very comfortable and relaxed. So when I buy sweaters, I look for dropped shoulders and long sleeves. I love the color of this. Also, it's almost see-through. That's how thin it is. I especially like this one because I'm a 90s born too. The glue print makes it less boring unlike most sweaters. I like to pair it with a barret, white pants, and a black knee-high boots. I bought this sweater because it's so soft and it's not itchy at all. Even though it's just plain black, it is white neck style so you can just drop the sweater on one shoulder to look more alluring. It is also perfect for layering due to its white bottom. I think everybody owns at least a pair of jeans. My type of jeans, yes, my type of jeans are wide legged, straight legged and boyfriends. It's hard for me to find a perfect pair of jeans because it would always be like big on my waist area and tight on my butt and thigh area. I only own two pairs of skinny and both are from Pool and Bear. They're so comfortable. What I look for is the length. Like I want mine to end at the ankle, but it might not be the same for you. That's why you should try on your jeans before buying them too. It's important. And this one is my personal favorite and my go-to. 
It's high-waisted and wide leg jeans. Like, I love everything about this. The contrast panel at the bottom to the ripped details on the pocket seam. And then it's like black, so it goes with anything. It's just perfect, 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 perfect. And the last one is a boyfriend jean. This one has a little rips here and there. I bought it like last year, so it's getting a little big for me. I particularly love the color of this jean. It's like sky blue. So it's like very calm in my eyes. Even though all the rip parts are going on, it gives it like a cool contrast. Plus, they go with so many pieces as well. I wear shorts more than I wear skirts because they're like the most comfortable thing you can ever own. This is my go-to. Most of my shorts are from Cotton On. They have like the best shorts ever. I don't like the short shorts. The one where you can see your little bum. I feel so naked wearing it, so I always go for something longer and wider on the thigh area. And this is the white denim. This is high-waisted and it is very, very, very stretchy. I bought it two or three years ago and it's still in a very good shape. But also, it's getting big on me, so I might have to narrow it down the waist area because I can't lose this. You need to have like a good pair of jeans or white jeans in your closet because they're so comfortable. You just grab it, you can pair it with whatever you want, like a t-shirt or a blouse. Or you can even wear it underneath your dress if you think your dress is too short. Skirts. I don't normally wear skirts. Like if I wear them, it's either my lazy D or I feel like I have nothing to wear. It's something that I would grab and pair it with a t-shirt and a cute blouse. They're like my last option. This skirt is from H&M. It's an A-line skirt with a button at front. This is the only skirt I know and the only skirt I wear most. I always recommend these skirts because they're so basic. And the other one is a similar one. It's from Pull and Bear. This is actually my sister's. But then, yep, guess what? I took it again. And it's a little larger than my previous one and a little longer, but still a very nice fit. These are the only two skirts that I normally wear. So I think you need to have a pair of like an A-line or a straight pair of skirts. Let's start off with knee-high boots. You can do so many things with knee-high boots. You can pair it with skinny jeans, you can wear it under your dress. Wearing them just makes you look very stylish. This is the one I got from Bangkok Platinum Mall. I actually love how easy it is to slide in. And it has this string, so it's adjustable to the width of your thigh. And up next are the ankle boots. Ankle boots are so versatile, you can pair it with anything. This one is with a buckle on the side and block heels. I'm always into block heels because I don't really know how to wear pencil heels. I'm not really used to them, so I'm always into block heels. And it has a wedge at the front to like balance so it doesn't hurt your leg when you walk. Getting more comfortable here, let's move on to sneakers. I bought these in Bangkok and they're so cute, feminine, and suits almost every outfit. I wear this a lot as my white sneakers. It goes well with a lot of my basic pieces I talk about in this video. Finally, sandals. A girl can never have enough sandals. They're so convenient and easy to wear. These are platform sandals. And this one is from Charles and Keith as well. It has a little bows. It goes with so many outfits. I just wear it every time I go out. Every single time. This is my personal favorite. <laughs> So, I hope it was useful for you and I hope you enjoyed my video. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions on it because this is my first time and I really need to hear them. I have plans for my future videos, but if you guys have any personal requests or any types of videos that you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, like my video, and click that bell. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Ta-da! Bye!